What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to fix the unable to import the media error you are getting on DaVinci Resolve. This is a common issue many users face, especially when dealing with various file formats. When attempting to import media to DaVinci Resolve, you might find that some files import without any issues, others refuse to be imported. This often boils down to the file format. For instance, MP4 files are generally accepted by DaVinci Resolve without any problems, but you might encounter difficulties with MKV files. The reason behind this is that DaVinci Resolve has limitations on the types of media formats it supports natively. A straightforward workaround involves changing the file extensions of your non-importable files. By simply renaming the file extension from MKV to MP4, you make the file seemingly compatible with DaVinci Resolve. To do this, ensure you have enabled the viewing of the file name extensions within your file explorer. After renaming the file, a warning may pop up, alerting you to the potential incompatibility or corruption risks associated with changing file extensions. Proceed with caution, as while this method can be effective, it doesn't change the file's codec, it merely changes how the operating system identifies it. However, I must stress that altering file extensions is a quick fix and not without risks. The more reliable and safer method to ensure compatibility and preserve the integrity of your files involves using software designed for transcoding or remuxing media files. One such tool is OBS. Widely known for streaming and recording, but also features powerful media conversion capabilities. With OBS, you can remux your MKV files into MP4 format without recoding the video, thus maintaining the original quality while making it compatible with DaVinci Resolve. To do this, open OBS, navigate to the File tab, select Remux Recordings, then click on the three dots to choose your MKV file. By remuxing it to an MP4 file, OBS essentially repackages the video and audio tracks into a container that DaVinci Resolve can easily work with, without the risk of corrupting your file. This approach not only ensures compatibility with DaVinci Resolve, but also keeps your original media's quality intact. It's a testament to the evolving landscape of digital media production, where understanding the nuances of file formats and codecs becomes crucial in navigating potential roadblocks in your workflow. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.